Welcome to our very first video of our flipped classroom experience. I'm so excited to get this started. Remember to have your notebooks handy so that you can take notes along the way. If you forgot to take your notebook home, get a piece of paper and a pen and be ready to roll. Today we're going to talk about the angles in a triangle. So we're going to call this triangle angles. Make sense? So when we talk about triangles, first of all, we're going to look in Sketchpad. In Sketchpad, I have drawn a triangle. And notice every triangle has three sides and three angles. I've measured all three angles. I have ABC, which is this angle here with B in the middle. This angle with A in the middle would be angle A up here. And ACB would be our third angle over here, angle C. There's nothing really special about these three angle measures just at first glance, but I want to show you something. We're going to take this handy dandy calculator and we are going to add all three angles together. Some of you have probably seen this before, some of you have not. But look what happens when I add the three angles. I get a total of 180 degrees. Now let's check on something. What happens if I move one of our vertices? Can you see how the angles up here are changing? But what happens to our sum, to our angle sum? Is it changing even though my angles themselves are changing? Absolutely nothing happens to our angle sum regardless of what else is happening with our angles. It doesn't matter what kind of triangle I have, my three angles will always add up to 180 degrees. So let's put this in our notes. Let's put, we're going to call this angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3. And we're going to write in our notes that the measure of angle 1, this is my angle in degrees, added to the measure of angle 2, that's angle 2 in degrees, added to the measure of angle 3, that's angle 3 in degrees, always has to equal 180 degrees. This is a hugely important number for us, so make sure that gets into your notes. What we're going to do with this information is be able to find missing angle measures. So here I've got these three angles, 20 degrees added to 35 degrees, added to my missing B degrees, has to add up to what? 180. So in order to solve, I'm going to take my handy dandy calculator and I'm going to start with my 180 degrees. I'm going to subtract the 20 degrees that I know I already have. I'm going to subtract the 35 degrees that I also have and I have a leftover amount of 125 degrees. So my missing angle measure here, the measure of angle B has to be that missing 125 degrees. Make sure that this example gets in your notes. If you need to, pause the video or rewind it if you didn't understand it the first time. This one's a little bit different. I don't have an entire angle missing this angle is 2x minus 4 instead of just a letter. So I'm going to set this up. I know that 2x minus 4 added to my 80 degree angle, added to my 40 degree angle, has to total 180 degrees. 
This is an equation that's easily solvable. First of all, we want to combine like terms, right? I still have this 2x here, but when I add 80 and 40 together, I get 120. Then I'm going to subtract 4 from that. I have a positive 116. That still has to equal 180. Now we're going to subtract our constant. We're going to get rid of our 116. And now I'm going to have 2x. When I borrow from my 8, 10 minus 6 is 4. 7 minus 1 is 6. 1 minus 1 gives me nothing, so 2x is equal to 64. Divide by our coefficient. I get x is 32. Now this answer looks a lot different than my last answer. That's because on the first example, I was trying to find an entire angle measure. I was going to find that, in, that whole angle in degrees. So I want to write my answer in degrees. On the second example, I was only solving for x. The instructions on that would look something like find x. So I wasn't trying to find an entire angle. I was just trying to find x. So I don't need to worry about degrees or anything else. I just find out what x is equal to. That's pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you found it very easy. If you need to, go back and watch the examples again. Make sure to take some notes so that you can have them for the end of your test. And your assignment tomorrow in class is going to be the Triangle Angles Worksheet. One more thing before I let you go. I would like you to, on some piece of scratch paper, put the answer to our second example, put x equals 32, put your name on the little piece of scratch paper. It can just be a little corner of a paper. And give it to me when you walk through the door tomorrow. And I'll give you five points for watching the video tonight. Tomorrow you'll be working in your groups. Hopefully this will be an awesome, awesome day in class. Have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow.